Save Our Planet. African scientists discuss veg solution to curb impacts of drought. As the dire conditions in the Horn of Africa continue to afflict the lives of over 13 million people across Somalia, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Djibouti, tens of thousands in Somalia alone have lost their lives. Also affected have been livelihoods, with livestock farmers such as those in Kenya now struggling for survival, as are the animals themselves, especially due to the severe lack of water and grazing land. In Kenya, the people there are pastoralists which means their, their, their livelihood depends on livestock. Livestock depends on water and pasture. Some have taken five years without rains. So the communities always have conflict over water points. So it forces the government to deploy police force there apart to protect the water points and to guard the people from shooting them. They have guns. So it's a serious crisis. While the Kenyan Ministry of Water had budgeted relocations of boreholes in various parts of the country, experts like environmentalist Mr. Shem Otoy Sam say it is still not enough as a long-term solution. Dr. Waldiemlak Buket of Ethiopia suggests that people's cooperation in reducing livestock production could drastically help ease the drought's impacts. Reducing dependence on on livestock products and changing consume, consumption patterns into into the grains and and vegetarian sort of, of food habits uh, will contribute significantly to climate change mitigation and also to reduce the demand for freshwater resources. It will be very difficult to sustain uh, our food habits of consuming so much animal products, uh, given you know the limited fresh water uh, elsewhere. So, from the point of view of water management, saving water, uh, reallocating it for other productive purposes, changing our consumption from livestock products to uh, vegetable products you know, helps a lot. The other bit of this is. Um, why must people consume meat when it's all that deadly? People should adapt to uh, uh, the vegan lifestyle, which is very healthy, low cholesterol in the body. Yeah, people will live longer and the environment will be very friendlier. We thank Mr. Sam and Dr. William Lack Bukit for your information and concern in seeking solutions to the urgent water crisis in the Horn of Africa. Our prayers for gentle rain and bounteous harvests to ease the suffering of millions and the urgent transition to the organic vegan way that will conserve water while sustaining all lives and the planet. As during an August 2011 video conference in the U.S., Supreme Master Ching Hai has often spoken of the alarming ways that the livestock industry is wasting our fresh water supplies at a perilous cost to humans. The livestock industry is becoming a bigger and bigger threat to our water supplies, which scientists warn are shrinking worldwide fast due to climate change. But most of the water used in the livestock industry is to grow the grains and soya beans, again, to feed the animals, not humans. So while this staggering waste of water for both water and food is occurring, one billion people in our world lack access to safe drinking water and go hungry. We all know about the current starvation crisis in Somalia, in the Horn of Africa. Such tragedies could be minimized or even averted if everyone became vegan, because the vegan diet saves nearly 70% of our precious water resources. 70%. We can surely stop the livestock industry from destroying our precious water supplies.